Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again and I've got my ultramarine blue going and some titanium white. I'm just going to make myself a bit of a sky. I've got this idea um, that I've done before in oils, but I wanted to do it again, a version of it, um, in the acrylics. Because I like painting. <laughs> And I just want to do it again and again. I might add a little bit of brown actually. A little bit of brown in my blue. It grays it down a little bit. Sometimes when you're using the colour straight out of the tube, just the paint and the white, it's not quite what you're after. So you can add a little bit of a brown or a little bit of red and maybe that's closer to what you really wanted. So I like to uh, experiment with colour like that. It's a good thing to do actually. I used to think it's a waste of time. <laughs> I used to think, uh, I used to think, oh what's the point in uh, playing with colour and you know you make these squares and you do all these mixtures and you and I used to think well that's a waste of time uh, but I have done it so it can't be. <laughs> but I do think um, you are better, probably, to just do paintings. But it depends what works for you, doesn't it? Everyone's different. We all uh, learn in different ways. So maybe it would help to do that. Or maybe you don't need to do that. It's all up to you, isn't it? So I'm going for a bit of a darker colour straight away. With a bit of uh, blue and brown. I'm getting ahead of myself really, but I might as well go for it. Maybe get a little bit of red in there. I'm going to throw in a bit of a shape of the mountain while we're at it. Go for the mountain shape there. Go a little bit darker. Something like that. A little bit of a uh, hill type thing there as well. And uh, bring this down like this. More this colour. And then what I'll need to do is go back and finish the sky. Because <laughs> I've dived into this mountain already. Because I like doing the mountains. There's no real order. Something uh, you realise as, uh, as you do paintings. You can paint anything first if you want to. Especially in like acrylics like this. You, you, it's so like easy to paint over stuff that I'm just looking at shapes now yeah it's so easy to just paint over stuff that it doesn't really matter something like that I quite like that shape I like that roundedness on the mountain top and then I'm going to Gonna make this bit more like that as well. Get that roughness and then be like that. Just move it out a little bit as it comes down. A bit softer.
Okay, something like that. It's a good start. We can uh, we can always change things as we go. So now let's go back to the sky because <laughs> we need to finish that. You can put the sky in later on. Like I was saying, there's no real rule in when you need to put anything in. You just have to think about ease ease of painting. <laughs> So if you put the sky in first, it's generally easier. But maybe you just need to put a... Like I did, I didn't put any detail in the sky, I just sort of slopped it in. And then you can start putting detail in if you want to. If you want like fancy clouds or whatever, you can do that. There is something I do want to do, which just I'm just throwing some blue and white and brown together in here. I think that's a nice stronger colour to be honest. Because what I wanted was a bit more of the blue in there. And I'll just put it on the top of this. Okay, so what I might do now, I'm going to get some white and some other tiny bit of yellow ochre. And I'm going to start, even though the paint's a little bit wet, I'm going to start putting in a bit of a cloud shape here. And I don't mind that the paint's wet because it'll uh, mix a little bit and it'll uh, give me that ability to soon put highlights on. But I, think, I feel like the cloud should be like this kind of shape and then go behind the mountain and then maybe another cloud here going down like that you can even use your finger to soften it if you want to if there is areas you want to soften quite like that. If the camera's picking it up quite the same, it's a little bit, it's almost the same, it's a little bit darker than what the camera shows actually. Just a tiny bit darker. Now I'm going to use a bit more of the white and yellow and I'm going to pull out a little bit of light here on this side of the cloud. Just turn my brush a little bit. So when you're painting a, like a wetting, wet almost approach with acrylics, you do, it is very similar to oils, really similar. It's just, uh, eventually, <laughs> it's dry all of a sudden, which is a bit, it's a bit of a shocker when, when you're used to uh, using oils, which I'm more used to oils than I am acrylics, but I enjoy both. I enjoy them all, actually. <laughs> I used to think it was uh, it was only oil paints for me, but 
the more I've got into just artwork in general now, I like them all. I like digital painting, I like uh, oil painting, I like acrylic painting, watercolour painting, <laughs> you name it, I like it. <laughs> so then, on this mountain side, I want to start building the light up on this as well. And uh, we've got the light coming on this side here, sort of like that to start with. And then uh, still with that same sort of mixture, maybe it sort of goes around there and then down like that. And this. Something like that. I think I'll uh, put a little bit here as well on this background one. Maybe a bit there. Just soften it with my finger a little bit so it stays background. And then this, maybe there's a bit of light break in there. And some light hitting there. And on the top here, there's a there's a piece in front of that piece. It sort of goes like this. And then there's a piece that goes round there. Sort of like that. Okay, I'm just washing my brush. I'm gonna paint most of this paint with just paint. <laughs> most of this paint, most of this painting with this one brush. It's just a, uh, a flat brush. I think it's a half inch flat brush. Uh, the It's worn away, like the, what it is is worn away. <laughs> but I think it's a half inch one. And it's one of the uh, De La, La Rowney graduate brushes. What's that, an inch one? Yeah, it's a half inch one. So it's in a half inch flat wash brush, I think. <laughs> I think it is anyway. So, I'm going to uh, make myself a bit of a dark now, like a, a dark uh, grey colour, grey, bluey, blue and brown, bluey, grey, browny colour. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to start putting in a bit more of the dark on this one side, but I'm going to use quite light pressure and keep it a little bit loose to keep some of it with that bluish sort of look that was there originally keep some of it Then uh, what, I'm, what I'm trying to do is create the shapes. Thinking about the shape of this is going to crash down there and using my brush to uh, follow that area to invent the shape. Basically, you're, as you're painting, you're inventing, you're inventing shapes and things. Just by using that magic little brush, <laughs> you can uh, do, do this sort of thing. I always think the people that watch my videos can do better. I always believe that. I'm sure there is some unbelievable painters that have watched my videos and I've seen their work. And I always find it quite inspiring as well to see other people's paintings. 
So we've got a little bit of something going on. I need it to be a bit lighter, but I've got I want to put in a castle as well. And maybe a little bit more blue, maybe. Just using my atomizer just to add a bit of uh, water to the paint. Stop it from drying out. So I'm, what I do sometimes, I'll show you. I load the brush up. It's a little bit wetter than I like paint, but never mind. I've just sprayed it. <laughs> so then uh, I'll go on to my dirty tea towel, which I'm not going to use to dry my cup anymore. And <laughs> I, I give it a tap on it to remove some of the paint. And uh, that way... Uh, I get just like a, uh, a bit of paint on, which is what I want. So I'm going to tap tap away some paint and keep a bit of paint, and then I can put that on in, in areas that I want it. So I want to kind of greyish this area down here a grey sort of bluey light use my finger soften it a bit Go and Okay, so we're going to grab some, um, I already want to do the highlights. <laughs> I always think to myself, don't do the highlights too soon, don't do them too soon. But I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, oh yes, I can get some nice light there. Get some nice yellowy light on the mountain. And uh, quite thick paint as well, got quite a lot of paint here. I'm going to get this light there. And there. Here. A bit there as well. Some dots there. And all along here. A bit on this one side there. Like that. A bit on this. Just use my finger just to soften it a bit. So I can take this, I think I'll take that down like that. Possibly. Like that and then sort of soften the ends a little bit. Just missed it away a little bit. <clears throat> so I like the idea of this being in front, to be honest, of that. Something like that. So I've completely changed this idea now. <laughs> Enjoyed myself too much here. Uh, so what I need to do now, I think about the foreground, because what I had was hills in, in like, uh, in England, in the Lake District. You can get snowy mountains and then gr green hills. <laughs> it's quite amazing, really. 
I'm sure you get it in other places. And uh, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking in those sort of ways. I like the idea of a few little little bits of light there. <laughs> you know, sometimes I just think like that little extra bit probably make it a bit better. Just a bit better. Anyway, um where was we at? I think I want to pull that forward as well. Break it up a bit. Maybe something like that. Maybe I have another piece here. Just sort of looking, thinking, oh, what would... Would there be another piece like that? Like there? Maybe. Maybe there would. Piece there, maybe, as well. Oh, yeah. Let's leave it as that, actually. Let's move forwards again. So yeah, well, what I was originally thought of doing, which I've totally changed, was to have a castle in there. And I was going to have like, maybe I could still put a castle in, in here. So if we have the land a bit lower than what I was going to do, maybe the land could finish sort of there. Let's have that going like this. Maybe that goes up like that. I'm just throwing dark on. I've just got like a green, brown, blue. Just throwing dark on. Something like that. We can be inventive anyway. We, uh, we've changed our idea. We had fun with the mountain creation. <laughs> And then I have this idea of like a castle, but I was going to do like a quite a big castle, but maybe I don't need a huge castle. Maybe. Maybe using a little bit of yellow ochre, a little bit of red in amongst it, a little bit of brown. Like that, and then uh, put in the shape of a castle, like this tower here, and then a little wall that goes sort of there. Oh, that was a bit yellow. <laughs> this is supposed to be the shadow side. <laughs> And then another wall over there, and then a uh, a piece that goes along here, and then there. 
like this. And another piece. And then another tower I want here. I need a bit more like greeny colour. Go there. So I quite like the uh, greeny colour, but at the same time, what if it snowed? <laughs> what if it snowed? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Well, we'll think about that as we're building things up, I reckon. So we've got this castle here now. What if we have a few trees on the other side? If I use like a blue, sort of a bluey green, I could indicate like maybe over here, there's a load of trees here, just like pulling down with my brush. Just creating shape really. Because trees like that could almost feel like a wall, couldn't they? Since we're thinking castle. A, a wall of trees. Hmm. I'll think about that one. <laughs> so, we need now to think about light at the same time as any, everything else. This is why painting, when I first started painting, there's so much to think about, isn't there? It's like, but after a while, oh, this brush is terrible. <laughs> oh, look at that, all the hairs have gone. Oh, I can't use that one. Um, what else we got? I wanted just a different brush for my lights, basically. So I'll use this one. Um, I want a light yellowy color for the stonework. So we've got our light coming from one side, so we want the uh, light on the building to follow suit. Yeah, after a while you just start realizing that you can, uh, you can think a bit quicker, <laughs> just from practice and when you're first starting out as an artist, it's really hard to think about all like, like the mixing of colours and and all that sort of stuff. Mixing colours, painting it the way you see it, how loose should you be, all these sort of questions you have as a painter. <laughs> Eventually you'll start answering them questions as you paint and then uh, you just become a better painter. Well, hopefully you become a better painter. Or well, you might still be in the struggling section, like me. <laughs> Where we keep struggling on, but we don't give in. We keep painting. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to put in... I wanted a little bit more of a bluish tint into the, uh, the stone. Uh, so I put a little bit of blue and red in my mixture. Um, I didn't feel like the colour was quite there. But a little bit of blue and red and... And it looks a little bit better. I know the light is reflecting a little bit, but that gives us a good start. And now I can go a little bit lighter. So I, now I can go into, say, maybe I'll go for a bit more white and in the yellow ochre, and we can really get a bit of thicker paint. You see, there's always a pattern. I always start quite thin, and then when I get to my lightest lights. I go into a bit more thicker paint, and uh, that's the same with oils. I do that the same. So you might want to experiment with that and try it out, see what you think. You might like it doing it that way, but then again, you might have a, a different way that you like to paint, and there's nothing wrong with that either. Best thing is uh, experiment.
Okay, there we go. Also, lit it up a little bit, and then I can uh, add some detail now to the uh, the wall and things. I'm gonna use one of my favourite brushes now. <laughs> this I think it's brilliant. <laughs> the number two rigger brush. Da, 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 da. It is a uh, it's cracking. It's a cracking brush. So I'm just gonna grab a dark. I'm just grabbing some like blue and crimson and umber, throwing it all together to make a nice dark. It's a bit of a, a ruin this castle is, but it's still got almost that majestic look to it. <laughs> you can decide where the door is, maybe the main door's there. Could be good there, or it could be uh, in another area, I don't know. Just make make a decision. Maybe there's another door there. This is gonna have to be a bigger door if it's the main door, isn't it? Maybe there's a road behind there where you can get to the castle. Okay, something like that. If you can see that, that's a bit on the shiny side. Now we've got to think about how the light would hit this. And then I was thinking about snowy sort of look. And how is this shaped, this land? So I'm thinking. My original idea was to have this green and grassy. <laughs> I'm totally changing it. Everything's changed. So we've got these, I'm gonna go with this snowy sort of uh, look. Imagine the, uh, no, maybe this, goes like that maybe it's rounded there and then there's some sort of areas of cliff or something I think it sort of goes like that maybe I'm just using one of my rougher type brushes. Oh, it's not like this. Maybe I'll put a little bit of snow on some of these trees as well. Something like that, it's quite... Try and get it in the shape. It's quite simple, but it's quite effective, isn't it? See this, these gaps in the paint, because you've already got the dark on, then you can add the gaps. It just makes it a little bit better. And now I'm gonna add some light.
we go. Just adding a bit of light on the trees as well. Here and there. A bit of snow on them. Maybe a little bit there. Then what I might do, just to add something else, is what if the uh, the snow has fallen on this as well? So maybe there's some snowy areas of blue on on the top. Maybe some of it's fallen down the sides as well. This snow tends to stick on stone, doesn't it? Maybe on this one side there's a little bit more of a bluish feel to it. Something like that. So I might as well do a secondary light. <laughs> So we've got another light. What I'm thinking is if I had a bit more light down here, down in this bit. And maybe a bit on this one side here. It follows. the way the light is up here as well we're keeping these dark areas to make it look more rocky like so yeah there we go there's something I'm tempted to put a little bit of pure white on this mountain there like this is the white the white now in some areas ultimate light <laughs> ultimate light here and here and here maybe there a bit there as well I'm thinking that would be going behind there as well like that Something like that, and then uh, maybe I could add a bit more light there as well on this cloud. Just give that cloud a bit more, and this cloud here. And a bit more light there. something along those lines so we've got a nice warm inviting castle cold sort of area and a uh, mountain and a few trees over here and then uh, maybe I could put in a couple of little birds I guess a couple of little birds would be nice to add in a couple of uh, I think it looks like a good place for a dragon actually <laughs> but and uh, we'll see. Let's, I'm just doing a little bit of dark in there. That's better. I just wanted a little bit more dark in that area there. It's, a, it's got quite light. Just a hint. It's only a hint, really. So, yeah, let's have a look at the little birds. Where would we have a bird? And maybe they'll be here. Or maybe in this gap here. Really small. Couple of little, tiny little birds there, live in the castle. I'm tempted to put some sort of a horse or something there, but I'd have to do it really small. It'd have to be like, like this sort of size, where you barely see it. <laughs> there you go. There's a horse there, <laughs> and uh, 
Yeah, what else could you do? Could do a bit more windows than this, maybe. Sort of a window that doesn't look like it should be there. Because I think they have windows dotted all over in castles, don't they? Just got a little bit of this blue on my finger. I just want to do this. Let's get that hint more of blue. Bit of brownie blue. Don't want it to be too strong. I need to make sure I keep things uh, hmm, that's not bad actually okay so where are we at I think we're about there so we've got our little castle we've got a bit of a mountain and some trees and uh, yeah, and I think I'll call that one finished. I'm quite happy with that. And uh, the only thing I could maybe do is put more detail in the mountain, but I don't really want to. I quite like the way it looks. I think it could be misted a bit on the hmm. <laughs> hmm. I think I see something. What I'm thinking is hmm, that the dark is quite dark, isn't it, on the mountain? So, so what I'll do, I think, get myself a little bit of this blue and just soften this a bit. Especially at the back part of the mountain, like there, probably needed just softening a bit, soften that darkness a little bit. Soften the lines as well. A little bit of blues. I think that's a little bit better. And then uh, under there. I kind of want to keep this darkness there. Have a bit more light there. Have a tiny bit more dark there. Maybe break that up a little bit there. Like that. And then this, I want kind of a piece goes straight like that. Pointing at the mountain. I mean, pointing at the castle. Sorry. And then you got this pointing going on. A lot of this is pointing to the castle, to be honest. And then uh, maybe break up some of this. And this needs some sort of a break in it so does this area there something like that something like that I feel like this could connect here, like that, create like a bit of a shape. 
Yeah, I do like that better. I knew there was something. <laughs> I knew there was something wrong with this made-up mountain. <laughs> so, I think, other than repainting some birds, because I've kind of painted them out, I think I'm there. You know, you can play around with paintings for ages, can't you? I think this one now is done. Some birds up here. And some flying over there. So yeah, thanks very much for watching this painting. And I will see you at another one. Cheers, bye.